everybody Ann here sitting here in front of my beautiful pallet garden with Papa who's right here he's a good boy watching my chickens and today is chicken coop day but I wanted to show you some other things that I found at that cool place where the little pink house was um, I didn't include them in the last video because it would have just made it so much longer anyhow let me show you those and then we'll get to the chicken coop thingy look at this oh my gosh I can't believe I've never been here before. Ooh, that's very heavy. Man, that would be cool. I wonder what we're in these. They might be kind of cool to grow stuff in. Gosh, I wish I knew how much all this was, you know, costing. Look, an Instapond. Haha. <laughs> Look at this. Oh! Oh, I would love, love, love to have this. It's up on wheels, too. Whoa, look at this one. Look. Oh, 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 too heavy. Look at that. Had to turn the volume down for this one because I slowed it down so much. But look, an actual lighthouse. There is an actual lighthouse for sale on this lot. Oh, my. Now let's have a look at that, uh, well chicken coop maybe <laughs> there it is <laughs> yeah I just put a tarp over this thing and put this thing right on top I have not secured this permanently because I'll likely to you know change it around a little bit but I don't even need to do anything with the floor because there's so much bedding in there and it just is going to compact down and they're not scratching through to the floor yet but this is not the final product I've got to reinforce you know some areas with chicken wire and whatnot because I know that this is not predator proof but um yeah I got this 8 by 10 tarp and I actually wish I had got the 10 by 12 tarp because I really want to keep this side enclosed with the tarp as well oh friend did you lay your egg yet I'll let you out if y'all laid your eggs anyhow um so I, I haven't even uh, permanently attached the tarp because I'll likely get the bigger tarp. But for now, I just wanted to see how this is. It's not ready to be inhabited by actual chickens yet. But, uh, and I've just got this tucked underneath and I've got a bungee connecting it here. Um, I do like these tarps. This is only a medium duty tarp. I may eventually get a heavy duty tarp, especially for during winter. But... I think it'll work out okay. I will be taking this tarp off and reinforcing the sides that aren't covered with more chicken wire. Um, you know, I am concerned about predators because this is not the van. Predators can't get into the van. But I think they could get in here. Thing is, is this is just right close to the house. I, I may even put that security alarm facing this area somehow or the other. So if a critter does get into the yard... It'll go off and I'll know about it. But yeah, definitely more, more chicken wire up in various places. This is just resting on top of the door. So when chickens actually do start staying in here, I will just lift this aside and pull the door up and close them in nice and tight. Um, I know that they need ventilation, so I don't know how much of this front part I want to cover with actual tarp or if I just want to leave it open kind of like it is uh, I don't know I see I haven't even connected these yet but I w really wanted the tarp to come further out this way to kind of keep this sort of shaded as well as the back and then maybe bring the tarp up over here just for additional shelter uh, this yard is going to be enclosed and completely covered on top somehow some way I'm thinking of bringing, bringing the yard out to about right here because there's a post behind me and moving this over just a little bit and then putting another post like about right here and just putting, dividing the yard with chicken, yard, uh, chicken wire and maybe deer netting or something over the top. I can kind of partially secure it to this. It'll go over the top of that a little bit. Um, but I think I can cover this and maybe put some kind of big post up this way to keep the covering 
you know, a little high so I don't have to be practically crawling around. Good morning, chickens. But they can get up underneath of there. So let's see if any of them will go in. What do you think, Romeo? <laughs> you gonna sing? And here's the little girls and guys venturing into there. They just like to go in there and hang out, so that's pretty good. But you can kind of get an idea of how many hens will be able to fit in there comfortably. Not very many, that's for sure. So I'm kind of thinking four chickens, four full-grown chickens. The three leghorns and the leghorn Easter egg or rooster. I don't think any more will fit in there, especially the big birds. The full-grown blacks and barred rock and Romeo, that would just be too much for them. So I think that this yard is going to be for four chickens. <laughs> the three evil mean girls and Tyson the rooster when he's big enough. So, yep. Um, I don't know if I'll work on the rest of the yard today. I may or may not. I've got some other things to do. And uh, my old neighbor, one of my old neighbors, um, she's awesome. She just had a baby. Beautiful baby. Hi, Denise. She gave me a new toy. A BB gun, a very awesome BB gun, a very powerful BB gun. And so I spent the last two hours texting her back and forth. You know, she had told me how to, well, this is where you put the BBs, this is where you put the CO2 cartridge and all that. And I totally forgot how to do it. So I'm trying to figure it out and I'm snapping her pictures. I'm texting her pictures. Papa, what are you doing? Um, of, uh, is this where it goes? How do I do this? Well, between the two of us, we got it figured out and I got BBs in it and I got the CO2 cartridge in it. And Papa, he's just been wanting some love, don't you? Yes, you do. He's so good. Um, so I, I'm going to make a target and I'm going to start learning, you know, because if little critters come out here or big critters or whatever, um, I need to learn how to shoot and aim. I'm super bad at it. There's a story I could tell you, but it's long and drawn out, and I think it would bore you. But um, at least I can use that to, you know, and scare scare critters off. And she told me a story about. Oops, I think Chapo's coming over here. Um, she told me a, a story about how I don't know if it's an accident. Who's oh, coming over? Sorry, I think Chapo's coming over to visit. Uh, you could tell because Papa's over there. He wants to go play. Um, she told me a story of somebody got hit in the butt with it. I'm not going to say who, and I'm not going to say who did it, but she said it hurt really bad. So I think I could hurt some critters with that thing um, if I need to. Hopefully I won't need to, but in the meantime, I'm going to have a heck of a lot of fun seeing if I can shoot this thing. Now I'm not going to show you the gun. I'm not going to tell you exactly what kind it is. Just know that it's it's a cool BB gun. And I made a little target. Do you guys think I can hit it? I'm only about 20 feet away. So I'm going to give this a shot and see if I can hit the target even once. Safety off. <laughs> All right. Did I get it? Let's see. Oh my gosh, I did. All right, let me practice some more. My main problem is holding the gun steady and the sight on this is really tiny, but. Why am I firing all the way up here? But I'm getting, some of them came in pretty close. I am bound to determine to hit that bullseye at least once. Look at, I hit the bullseye twice. <laughs> so what happens, the first time I fired this, I automatically, when I squeeze the trigger, I let the gun go up and up this way a little bit. So I was aiming more down towards this way and it helped, it helped. So I just need to practice this more and before you know it, I'll be hitting the bullseye every single time. I was really hoping that when I shot in this box that they would retain the BBs, but guess what? Nope, they went right out through the other side. Thank you so much, Denise, for my new little, well, it's not a toy, it's definitely not a toy, but I'm gonna get a lot of joy out of using that thing and 
you've just been really kind to me and you're such a delight to, to have around. I love our visits and you've done so much for me. You gave me that big water toad. That thing has saved my life, seriously. And all the other little things you drop by and just kind of drop off and whatnot. I mean, all I can give you basically is eggs. I've got plenty of eggs. If you want ever want chickens, you can have chickens. I will definitely give you some chickens. <sighs> Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.